Hello everyone and welcome to Cocoon. This is a little indie puzzle game made by a new studio but that studio is headed up by one of the guys that used to be at Playdead who made Inside and Limbo, two very well respected puzzle games, both of which I've played uh, before I even did YouTube because I played them both at launch and they came out a long time ago now. I'm very curious what Playdead is, has been doing for the last eight years because I think it's been eight years since Inside and 14 since Limbo or something, so they take a while to make games, but they are very good when they come out. But anyway, yes, one of those guys split off, made a new studio, and this is the game that came out of that. So I am very intrigued, very eager to play. Didn't quite get around to it at launch, but uh, we are here now, not too long later. Okay, that looked like it was this creature has just been born. Some kind of hibernation state, maybe, or it was a straight-up birth. Okay, we're straight into it. Man, I was expecting a menu or something. <laughs> nope, we are right on in. Love it. I guess thinking about it, that is how uh, that is how Limbo and Inside did it as well, right? I might play Limbo and Inside on the channel at some point, even though it won't be blind, because it has been so long. <laughs> that I probably don't remember anything. And they are such good games. They are very, very good. Man, I love, I'm loving the art style. The art style is really pretty. Just to begin with here. Right, nothing. It doesn't seem like we have interaction with anything at the moment. So what do the buttons do? Anything? Uh, okay, so if I press A, my wings do that. None of the other buttons, triggers, or bumpers appear to do anything currently. Okay. Uh, so we have a path down there. We also have a path up here. That's just, yep, behind that. Cool, cool. So, the basic premise of this game, as far as I'm aware, is like worlds within worlds. And you need to... You've got like these spheres that you move around, but you can also go inside them and they're a world on their own. I believe is how it works. Uh, okay. Nowhere to go there, so I probably am. Am I jumping off here or something? No, not jumping off here. Uh, <laughs> okay, in that case, I am missing where to go. Can't jump over there. Can't jump down here. That's blocked off. Did I miss something obvious? Oh, I did. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, I guess we're bringing something there. Or am I just standing on this? Ah, stand on it and press A, okay. I see, I see. That was linked to that. Now you'll have to bear with me because I don't usually do puzzle games on the channel because it's it's always uh it's always a crapshoot whether I'll actually be any good at it if I'll be smart at figuring out puzzles or whatever. And uh whether people will just be annoyed and be missing obvious things or whatever, so, you know. <laughs> Give me a little bit of leeway as I figure stuff out. Can I push this down this track? Oh, I can just pick it up. Oh, and then I drag it. Okay. Then that springs back. Whee! Okay, it's interesting. It's like, it's very technological, but also looks kind of animal-like. Like, this looks like a creature with legs and stuff. And we seem to be birthed out this mechanical pod thing, but we also look like we've got wings that are kind of animal-like as well, so... Interesting world they're creating here. Okay, we can definitely go up and click that. Is there anything down this way that is any different? No, that's just a dead end. All right. I wonder if there's any, like, collectibles to find or anything? Or if we are just sort of following a fairly set path. Can I interact with this at all? 
though. Uh, okay, so... Can I... I can't do that and jump back. Clearly I need to be on that one. So the question is, how do I... Oh, right. That's how. Duh. I do that. Cool. Okay. on up. Oh, you have to hold it. Whee! Interesting. More mechanical pod thingies. Okay. Uh, this is clearly a door of some description. What can I do up here? Oh, we are locked in. Okay. My god. <laughs> okay. We weren't starting at the top layer. Hi. What on earth just happened? We were not starting at the top layer. <laughs> we zoomed out of that. Okay, I can pick that up. Oh, wow. For, the, for some reason, I just assumed that we would be, like, working our way in to multiple worlds. I did not expect that we'd be starting there and then going up. Interesting. And now we are carrying this world around on our backs. Was there anything down here? No, dead end. We are carrying this world that we were just exploring around on our backs, and we can use that to do other things, I guess, and then we'll be going back into it, probably. Can I put it down here? Yeah, okay, that activates a bridge. I could also go up these steps, but that looks like that dead ends at the moment as well. We probably need to activate the other side of that somehow. Uh, well, we can obviously press this. Let's see what this does for us. Okay, cool. That's how we get this orb over there. What a neat concept for a game. <laughs> I, I do wonder how tricky they're going to make it in the latter stages. Obviously, we're starting off relatively simple here, but um, I can definitely see this being the sort of thing that gets very mind-bendy later on. Drop that in there. That looked pretty self-explanatory. Very nice. Okay, we got multiple pipes that we can send this orb through. What should we call it? Sphere? Orb? Ball? Okay, that's... Okay. So... Can I put the ball here? That just holds it. Okay, so that's oh okay. I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to send the ball over there. So I'm gonna need to put the ball in like up here and then run and change the path, I guess? Or I'm gonna need to change multiple paths. Okay. I see. So I drop it in up there. It comes down here. I need to stand on this to make it go that way. Then I run down here and stand on this to make it go that way. Then I immediately right turn, run down here, and stand on that to make it go that way. Okay. So just a little bit of speedy Gonzalez needed here. Here we go. First one's fine. 
Second one fine. Third one fine, very nice. Lovely jubbly. Never in doubt. Uh, oh, up and around. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, what does this do? Okay, you want to align them so that they both open at the same point, I assume? Good enough? Okay, that pings me up here. Cool. What does that do? Oh, okay. I think I can spring back into this world here. I think that's what that does. But before we do that, let's see what these do then. Okay, that's pretty drastic. Oh. Uh, is this going to raise up behind me? It does raise up behind me. All right. Uh, can't seem to do... Okay, I can, I can do this. It feels very squidgy. There's some good feedback on this. They've made this feel like a very squidgy thing. Uh, oh, we can hit these. Does that do something? No? Oh, is this an order? Oh, I see. I see. This is giving an order. Okay, so it's stalk, crossed, uh, pentagon, stalk crossed, pentagon, H, flower. Unless it's the other way around. It's probably the other way around, because that's the way we started it, right? So, flower, H. Flower, H, pentagon, crossed, stalk. Uh, flower, H, pentagon, crossed, stalk. There we go. That looks very gloopy. What is that? Okay. What are you? <laughs> what are you, little buddy? Hello. Do I have any new button that controls you or something? No. Doesn't seem... Hmm. Okay. I wonder what this thing does. Can you lower these barriers? Okay. You can lower the barriers. Cool. Can you do something with this? You can't do something with that. Okay. Um, do I take you with me into this world? Man, that is, that is a really cool transition. I think I might love this game. Okay, so that's how, right, we needed to get that first so we could lower those barriers. That makes sense. And there isn't anything, yeah, okay, so that was, that was mandatory. So far, this is feeling incredibly good. So far, I am very impressed. Can you do something with this for me? No. But maybe over here? You can do something over here. Okay. Open sesame.
Very cool. The way that opened up gave me a very Halo 4 Runners vibe. <laughs> Was that just me? Did anyone else feel that? Man, this is pretty. What is that down there? Kind of looks like a big chest. But I don't think it is. But it looks like you could go and unlock that like a chest. I don't know. Uh, right, what have we got? We've got another orb thing up there. What happens if we stand on top of this? Nothing. Okay. So clearly these are tracks. Clearly you can pull this thing over here, I guess. Let's see how that goes then. Oh, we, we'll use it as a bridge to get over there. Okay. Boing. Oh, where are you off to? Okay. What is this goopy stuff? Hang on. Should we go goopy way first, or do we go... Do we go non-goopy way first? What's up here in non goopy uh Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit scary. What is going- I, I don't know which way is the way to go. Now I'm feeling like that's the way to go. Hang on, what's over in Goopville? What are you doing for me? That thing looked like it was holding another orb. Potentially. Not sure where bro's just gone. But that leaves this way. Okay. So we need an orb of some description to interact with this stuff. That all that takes me out, right? What the fuck is this? Hi. Oh no, the bridge disappeared. What is this? Uh, hello? What are you? Ah. Boss fight? You're like a bomb? Whoa! <laughs> Bro threw me out. Do I go back in? Okay, I think I just keep trying, right? So if he touches me, he throws me out. Okay, those stunned me. Okay, there's a... There's a thingy over here. Okay. Got a hit on him. Got him again. Are we good? Okay. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, are we going for a we're going for a different phase? Oh god. We're going for a new phase. What's happening? Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna need to look for another bomb thing. I don't know, I'm not seeing one at the moment. Okay. Oh, there it is. Hello, bomb thing. Nice.
Dude, this game is sick. <laughs> I am really liking this game. This is a very strong... This is the first game I'm playing. First, like, new game that I'm starting in 2024. This is a good way to start the year. This is a very good way to start the year. Okay. Oh, oh! Oh, that is very cool. I'm like showing hidden pieces of the world. Oh, yeah. Love that. Love that. Okay, so this, where does this take me? This is taking me a whole long way away. All right. Uh, let's, does this just loop around similarly? It does. Okay. Uh, what about this way? Oh, that breaks off. Okay. So I probably need to activate these little tower things? I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe not. Oh, is that a bridge? Can I? I can, okay. So I wonder where that would have taken me. If I'd left it as it was. But this seems to be working out, so never mind. Not working out. Maybe if we go back? <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. So we actually, maybe we want this in the opposite position. We want it right there? I feel like we want it right there. Because that will then make it... Let's see. That will make it so we can go around that corner. Like this. And then that leads to great success, potentially? Okay, that leads to another thing there. What does this button do? Okay, that moves that over there. Which I think is... What we want? Or are we jumping onto this as it's moving? We need to jump on this as it moves past, okay. Uh, that's going to spring us somewhere. Okay, there's nothing down here. Spring. Good. Check the de dead ends first. Lovely. Okay, now this looks important. Put you here? Hang on. Okay, this is taking me somewhere else. What do I do with this thing first? Oh, I need a second orb. I need two orbs to activate this. Okay. So we do go down here first. Maybe this just gives me one. No, this is stairs. All right. I have to leave the orb behind for this bit. Uh, 
That powers that. I need a second one. I can just pop the tower on it. Okay. Wait, did it start walking back? Oh, I see. This one gets blocked off. It starts walking back. Okay. So you want to pull it all the way, like, over here, basically. And then just hold this one, and then that should... Oh, I need to be over there! Oh, just too slow. I didn't realize I had to be over there waiting to click it. You have a very small window then, because obviously you can't... The pipe blocks you from pulling this one too far, so... You have to start booking it as soon as it is about to touch. I assume that's our next boss, right? Because the first one we saw went into that orb and then we fought it. Oh, that actually stopped them moving as well, huh? Curios, curios. Alright, well let's... Can we dump this? Oh, I guess we can just put that on there and then we can take this and keep holding it. You can't just drop them anywhere. It has to be in specific spots, but... That's fine. Alrighty. Grab this bad boy. Okay. Now, this is going to be one of the pools. Are we on the upper layer? We're on the upper layer right now, yeah. So, what was... Because obviously this is a new one. We can put this in and go into a new area. But I'm actually trying to remember if there was anything we had left to do in this one. So, this... We ended up here. Oh, I can't go back up there. These circles are new. We haven't... Okay, we haven't done anything with this black diamond thing yet. And we haven't been able to put an orb on this yet. So there are still things to do here, but we... Although, wait. Can I take this into here? Oh, I can. Okay, so we... Obviously, we need to explore this world. The, the one I'm carrying around. But let's see what else we can do... I want to try and do as much as I can in the world that I've already, I'm already in before I start a new one, right? Unless, of course, you need to to progress, which is totally possible. Okay, we've got another one of these, so we need to find a thing that tells me the order, uh, which is <laughs> the stuff in the background, right? So we've got, we've got equals, we've got. Oh, it's just different. It's just a different number of lines. Two lines. Two, three, one, five, H. Okay, that works. Two, three, one, five, H. Uh, was there a way down this way, or yes? Okay. Two, three, one, 
5H. Alrighty. So maybe we actually had to do this first then. Are we in, in the green world? Do we get immediately blocked off perhaps? If we don't have a little buddy? So I might have just accidentally do what had to be done. I thought I thought it might be a choice of whether you want to go back and explore this place or if you want to... Unless little buddy can do something over here. No, he can't. Okay. So I think... And we can't go back up there with him. So, uh, yeah... Pretty sure. What was down here? Oh yeah, we never... Did we ever figure out what that little guy was? In the goopy bit. We, we like... We pressed a thing and a guy like shot up, but... I'm not actually sure that what that did for us. That is... The one thing I didn't actually... Understand if that was a secret or if... Because that wasn't the boss that was holding that, right? Maybe it was. Maybe I just misremembered. All right, uh, let's take this into the green world then. Okay, new world. Let's go. Very cool. Very cool. Totally different vibe immediately. Oh, we're wading through water here. Okay, deep water does make you go slower. Interesting. Ah, so that's how we get through here. Okay, so this is this is this is to let you get back out if you haven't got little buddy yet. But we have got little buddy, so that's fine. So we did have to go that way. Uh, more goopy black stuff. What is the deal with the goopy black stuff? Is that the boss? Maybe that is the boss. Maybe we did just have to move the boss onto the boss arena or something. It's possible. Can I run through that? I guess so. Oh. Oh. It kills that little buddy. I see. Okay. And then we can't get through here. Right. So what do you do? Oh, that moves them. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. So we just take little buddy and then move them back. Cool. Open sesame. Is that another spawn point for bro? Okay, we can get out here. Okay, uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna let him die. I'm gonna see what there is to see over this way. Okay, so we need him to activate this. That's another big door thing, probably leading to the boss area. Is there anything else that I can do around here? Hmm. 
No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so the only thing that needs to happen now is we need to get little buddy over here. And we can't do that. How far do you go? If I leave that there, you go all the way to the end. But no matter how far... Okay, you stop there. No matter how far you go, that doesn't get you through. So, I guess the answer has to be in a different world, right? So let's get little buddy back and go back to the outer world. Okay, so we're back up here now. Uh, what does that do for me? I can go this way. But this was just... I don't think... I don't think there's a need to go back, is there? Hmm. I don't... I'm not sure going back actually does anything for us. So do we need to go... Do we need to go back into this one? There wasn't anything to do here, though, was there? Oh, wait, no, what about... Is there anything we can do in this world? I don't... We already checked this. So maybe we do have to go back. I think going back is the only option. There wasn't anything else up that way. Yeah, I think we have to go back. Oh, right. We The, the yellow... Yellow? <laughs> green. The green one doesn't activate the things. So we have to be carrying this one. Hmm. I'm a little worried that I'm missing the correct thing to do here. Wait, is there even... Wait, is there no way back, actually? Oh, I'm just now realizing that we can't actually go back. Because every way is a dead end now. Okay. Uh, huh. In that case... I am a little stumped. Interesting. All right. The first actual puzzle. <laughs> Not actual puzzle, but you know what I mean. The first one that's actually making me making me consider what I need to do. Hmm. Hmm. what, those things kill little bro. And to progress, we have to bring little bro over to here. So somehow, we have to get little bro past those things. That is the puzzle. How do we get little bro past the goopy thing? The, the catchy net thing? The only way we have to... Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. So, we need to... Man, okay. You've really got to think. This is the first, like, multi-layered puzzle, in a sense. We bring Goopy Boy into... We, we have to come into here with Goopy Boy after they're already passed. Right? Oh, man, that's clever. Okay, so... We do this, we leave that there, and then we jump out. And then we just wait for it to go... Oh, you can actually see it go past. Oh, that's smart. That is smart. And then you go back in, and it's already there, and then you walk on by. Oh, man. I didn't... It should have twigged sooner, I guess, but that is a really... That, that is the first, like, multi-layer puzzle like that. I'll be thinking of that as an option now. It just wasn't in my head as, like, a possibility, I guess.
Super cool. Super cool. Is there a uh, save, or does it? Is it? I guess it's just auto saving, because I think that is probably where we'll leave it for part one, with this door opened and a new area available to us. What a great game so far! This is, this is actually fantastic. Wish I'd been able to play it on launch, but uh, we're not too far behind here, so I'm very glad I'm getting to experience this because this seems like a honestly 10 out of 10 puzzle game so far. That was the first, like, moment that I got stumped. I'm expecting there's going to be quite a few more of those <laughs> as we progress. We will see how they turn out. But, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to continuing. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of games, all that jazz. I would massively appreciate any support over there. And yeah, I will see you next time for more Cocoon. Thanks for watching. See you then.